Welcome to Van Media. Today we are checking out Chattanooga, Tennessee. So stay tuned. Brandon with Van Media, and today we are in Chattanooga, going for a ride. We're starting off here on the riverfront, and making our way through the bridge. Let's just take a moment to take in the views here off of this pier in Chattanooga. Wow, it's so beautiful. I've been coming to Chattanooga for about a year now. I'm getting quite familiar with the city. It's become one of my favorite cities. This and Knoxville, just really great, great places. Uh, today we're gonna be running all over the place, but I'm gonna be stopping and making sure I take some videos and uh, along the way. There's two bridges. There's a lot of bridges here actually. There's two this way and we are going to cross both of them. The plan is, is we're gonna pass this bridge, go past it, run through the underbelly of the city, which is really cool, I hope you like it. And, and then come along the other side, go through the art museum, also really cool, hope you like it. Cross over the bridge, which is the, one of the longest pedestrian bridges in the United States. Really nice park on the other side. Come back around on this bridge make our way back over towards the Tennessee Aquarium which is amazing we'll check it out really hope you like it and uh, and then make our way back here towards the hotel so let's do it Bad media, and I'm getting better at this. I'm running out of cutting to my cuts and I broke myself. If you're watching this and enjoying it, please consider like and subscribing. Thanks. Continue. We're here in front of the Tennessee Aquarium, and this right here, this bridge, this is more of a, a vehicle crossing than a bridge. But you can run it. We're gonna run our way back on it. This is the, the Joe Ojo. Man, can you pronounce that? Let's do it together, guys. That's the Joe Ojo S V S M E Gooey Su Gooey Gado Gula Gav Ross's Landing, baby. Did y'all get that? Did y'all get that? I hope y'all got that. That's what it was. <laughs> and not to be forgotten, it is the year of the turtle. It's also October 2nd, 2020. Now we're about to make our way towards the underbelly of Chattanooga. A lot of homeless people live here, but in my experience, the homeless people here are quite cordial. Nothing like Los Angeles, so. Not saying there's anything wrong with homeless people in Los Angeles, there's not. But the last time I did have someone pretend up there to take my camera, that was a bit weird. Anyway, welcome to Chattanooga. We are running along the wooded trail to the second bridge. You see that? That's the longest running walking trail in the United States right there. Oh, suspended bridge wise. And right now we are leaving this beautiful old one. I should, uh, you know what? I should just keep running. Enjoy the view. You'll see it as I see it.
Maybe later we'll check out the docks. So right now, we're gonna make what is my favorite part of Shenandoah. I didn't expect this coming. The first time I saw this, the first time I came across this area, <laughs> I was dumbfounded. I didn't expect Shenandoah to have an area like this. There was homeless and camped out everywhere. And you have people playing music, just generally hanging out. It was a rainy day, so I understand the congregation. They're headed down to the boats. You go down there to get the boats. But yeah, usually there's a lot of homeless here. Looks like they cleared it out. That's this beautiful bridge right here. It's the longest uh, walking bridge in the United States. Right now we're under a highway in Chattanooga. This right here is kind of what, look at this little detail on this thing. It's just very beautiful. Chattanooga is more than meets the eye. So our last trip here, we had a whole bunch of homeless camped out here. When I say a whole bunch, I mean I'll try to reference the footage. It looks like it's all, they've all been cleared away. And then here is we have, we have the trail that reminds me of San Francisco. Which, you look so silly and you feel so silly going down. Like, you feel super silly going down this when you realize like there's another, <laughs> you can just like walk right here and walk straight down, but nonetheless, still very cool. So that's a lot of talking I've been doing, I'm so sorry about that. You signed up for relaxing music and tours of new locations. So this is the art museum here. This is what I was talking about, where you do not have to do it. You can, oh, they put up a no loitering sign. It all makes sense now. <laughs> you see, this is, and you can skip it, but why skip it? Why skip it right here for it? If you didn't, I mean, are you a tourist or not? See this exactly. Historical Park. We're oblivion to rebirth or theological research on the bluff. Turn next site. Interesting. You'll have to do a recap, come back and visit this museum sometime. I still have so many museums to show you. Uh, some that come to mind right off the bat is the Indianapolis Art Museum. What a gem. What a view. So you go off the beaten track a little bit and get rewarded. Alright, let's uh, cross. Let's get back through here without stepping on the human feces. This is Chattanooga. These are the main streets of Chattanooga. So that was pretty cool. Let's get back on the main trail. Hopefully, I didn't step in any dog doo doo. Oh, yeah, dog doo doo. Human doo doo. My bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so we still have a lot of this exact left. You really build anticipation for the bridge. When we get to the top of this, there's going to be an entire art campus. It's really nice, actually. If you come to Chattanooga, I suggest at least a day. There's just a lot to do. Good places for all free meals. Now you can kind of see the full extent of the largest pedestrian over the walking bridge in the United States. And then that's what we just walked across. All that's a tag. You know, it's like the sun is coming out. It's always good when the sun joins us. It makes everything better. The lighting, I get happier. <laughs> Did this start off as a job? Because it's really just becoming a tour in Chattanooga. I promise you, we get to that bridge I'm running. Make sales and pack on your day. Make it make or break your day, <laughs> depending on how you treat them. Our first statue. A nice baseball homage. Put the museum in the back. Alright, so now continuing our walk around the statues. Oh, this is a picture, I get it. I love that look on his face. He had a very cool look. Alright, so let's get back to the actual running park. You know, going through this museum and actually showing you all the statues isn't as easy as I've done with me. So, this is the first one on the main area. If you find yourself here in Chattanooga, this is a great spot to get some food. I've had a lot of luck with small little mom and pop shops in this area. I wish some names came to mind, but 
<laughs> they don't. <laughs> it was a really good rib place. I got a place that really gets stomach food. Uh, please pardon our mess. Well, don't worry. I've got lots of footage in this area. Here we are at the museum. Check out this view when you're looking down the bridge. You can see the Tennessee Aquarium on the other side. And then you also have the bridge. That's the pathway that we're headed to right now. So this is considered like the museum kind of a hub. The day you plan, the day you plan Chattanooga, if you plan around the museum, you'll actually be able to get to pretty much everything in the gym. So keep that in mind. It's got a nice outside exhibit. It's called the Hunter Museum of American Art. What a beautiful, beautiful place. Just all around. Very impressed with Chattanooga. I believe even in Knoxville, I, gave, I mentioned that Chattanooga is actually the 2020 gem of the year, not Knoxville. <laughs> Chattanooga just has so much personality. It's so quaint. It's a very cute place. It's a lot more than meets the eye. Uh, besides the obvious, you know, aquarium. The, besides the Tennessee Aquarium, there's so much more to Chattanooga. If you're here, just be ready to spend the day, especially with everything that Chattanooga has to offer. It's just very impressive. So, I think that's enough about this area. Let's go ahead and move on to the bridge. Now this construction wasn't here last time. I might edit in, I might edit in some previous footage before this construction. We'll see how this footage turns out. We are now here at the bridge. This is the longest pedestrian walking way in the United States. And like I said, the art museum will keep you centrally located here in Chattanooga. You'll be able to get to everything relatively quick. So, let's start it off. So here we are. We're on this end of the bridge. And this is supposed to be the longest walking bridge in the United States. But we're gonna go ahead and jog it. Welcome to Chattanooga, baby. What a beautiful, quaint place. It reminds me of Portland, Oregon, but with less. With less. <laughs> Is now a good time to remind you to like and subscribe. All right, we're gonna just take a second here to take in the views. Very sturdy bridge. You don't feel like anything can go wrong. Very well made. I realized that for something like this, perhaps you guys don't want to see me running. Maybe you guys just want a calm, relaxing walk along the bridge. That's the Tennessee Art Museum, the Hunter Art Museum. Over there is the aquarium, the Tennessee Aquarium. And over here is a public park. I wish I remember the name. I'm not that good at names. I'll get better. 
It is October 2nd, 2020. It's about 58 degrees. It feels nice. All those boats are lined up. We had a we were looking at them earlier. We might head down there by the docks. It's a lot more full than I usually see it, I'll tell you that. I've been coming to Chattanooga for about a year now for business. And I never would have thought how much, how happy Chattanooga would make me. It's a very nice place with good vibes. Last year, the MVP winner was Savannah, Georgia. And this year, it's the Ray E. Jane and Russ Robinson Bridge. Is that what it is? I'm really hoping that's what it is because it's what they wrote on the floor. Now, last time I was here, this island had a whole bunch of boats parked up. And I think they were throwing a party or something. <laughs> Chattanooga, like I said, more than meets the eye. It's a beautiful morning here in Chattanooga. So this is the view from the center of uh, the largest country in the United States. Let's keep the north I would love to sit here and slow walk, but I don't have a memory or the phone battery to do that today. So let's continue to run. Here we are. From here you can see, that's how we came in, and that's how we're leaving. That media, we'll go the extra mile. Welcome to Chapman, Tennessee, by the way. Well, this is the bridge that we're gonna go back on. This is the bridge that we came in on. From this angle, you can really see how it has a dedicated pedestrian bridge. Yeah, this probably is the largest in the United States. It's hard to believe, but it tells it currently. So, let's make our way back. This is the bridge we're gonna be crossing back towards the Tennessee Aquarium. The riverfront here in Chattanooga is stupendous, high quality. Come here to do graduation photos or to take the family photos of a vacation here in Chattanooga. This is not a bad place right here. The bridge is beautiful, the architecture is beautiful. It's called Cool Edge Landing. It's a nice place to take photos of the family. It also leads to another running trail, which we will check out next time. Because we can't get winded, to be honest. All right, so we're working. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
でしたっけよろしくお願いしますよろしくお願いしますどうですか、小口前。Right, so here we are on the bridge, on our way back to the other side towards the Tennessee Pavilion. Now, unlike that beautiful pedestrian walking bridge you see all those people using, because it's what it was made for, I'm walking along the vehicle one. Not recommended with the family. Continue our tour here of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Right now we're about to go to the aquarium. Welcome to the Tennessee Aquarium. Very nice. Tennessee Aquarium is beautiful.
Wow, what a beautiful view. There's a baseball stadium over there. Maybe next time we'll grab that. Because of this pandemic, I was trying to keep my distance. Help us collect all the bridges in the Tennessee Fair. It's just a lookout. Minecraft, as if like my daughter's Minecraft skills were put to the test and she built this place, and or my daughter only had experience building Minecraft, and then they were like build this Tennessee aquarium, and she she was very agreeable with that notion. Here we have a picnic area. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's got this bronze statue of an Indian, and it's just a more uh, shaded, wooded area. There it is. The first time I saw it was like a year ago on the fall, so it's quite striking. As you can tell from the colors, it will be. Now you can see why this city looks very wooded and uh, beautiful. That's the view the main street. So now we're coming around back to where I started this whole journey today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, be sure to like and subscribe. There it is. Hey.